back leg. My delivery, still getting over my front leg and letting my back side come through. If I finish like this, all we're doing is creating bad habits. All right, so let's get our feet shuffling and let's make sure we get that chest over our front knee at release. All right, folks. So I'm gonna explain two different exercises that we're gonna be doing tonight. It's gonna to take no more than 10 minutes. And I'm gonna split you guys up again. One group's gonna be doing one exercise, the other group's gonna be doing the other, and then we're gonna switch. All right, so one's med ball, one's weights. All right, I need everybody to follow me and grab a five pound weight that's over there. Let's go. We haven't really talked too much about forearm. All right, so obviously this muscle right here, everything to do with our forearm is involved when we're making a throw, whether we're pitching or we're throwing in the field. So I'm just gonna kinda go through a circuit of forearm weights. Um, somebody will be over here if you guys forget one of, the, one of the sets, but this is what it's gonna look like. So first off, I'm gonna try to keep my elbow at a 90 degree angle. So I'm not gonna let my elbow extend, and I'm also not gonna be up here. All right, so what we're gonna start with is just curls. So my elbow's staying still. And I'm just working my forearm muscles right here. Notice I'm not really using my arm to get the, the weight up. It's just curling my fingers, extending all the way back. You can do them on the benches. It's probably honestly a little easier to do it on the benches because you want to get full range of motion back up. Then we're going to flip our hand over. We're going to do opposites. Okay, we're going to do three sets of 10 on everything here. Next, we have hammers. We're going to hold the bottom of the weight like we're hammering a nail. All right, you guys can go quicker this isn't this doesn't have to be like the three second down three second up you guys can have a good pace while you're doing this just make sure we extend it all the way and we come back up all the way next side to sides I'm holding the bottom I'm gonna rotate all the way to the inside I'm gonna rotate all the way to the outside okay next reverse hammers I'm gonna hold the top and I'm gonna hammer back up towards my forearm all right so we have one two Three, four, five, did I miss one? Is that everything? Yeah, five, so three sets of 10. Use a five pound, if you can do a 10 pound, do a 10 pound. If you can't do a five pound, do a three pound. All right, come on over. All right guys, so this is going back to what we talked about on Monday, uh, about staying back over our back leg. So it's a couple different things. So we have a line right here. I want you guys stepping into this, all right? Because I want to make sure that we're secure on our back leg. If we step into this drill and I'm not strong on my back leg, I'm gonna keep going forward. That's not what I want. All right, so we're gonna start here. Feet a little shorter or a little skinnier than shoulder width. I'm gonna step into it and I'm gonna come up like I'm getting ready to pitch. Now notice this knee is over this knee. It's not me coming up straight up with my knee. All right, I wanna get some type of hip load while I'm coming up. My hand is here on the, on the med ball. My other hand is holding it. Lefties, you guys are gonna be opposite. You'll be there stepping this way. So I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Then I'm gonna drive. Notice when I land, I'm straight in line and the med ball hasn't moved. It's still back here. If I keep this arm in a loaded position, it's gonna keep my head back with the med ball. If I were to drop the med ball, and pretend like I'm getting ready to pitch. Notice how I'm still back where I'm shaded towards my backside. Everybody see that? So we're here. I step up, load, five seconds, land, hold it right there for three seconds, and then the final part is getting that weight over our front knee. All right, so driving with this back leg and getting over that front knee and finishing. All right, we're gonna do three sets of five. So there might, you know, there's enough med balls. If you guys can shade down there and throw it in the mat, that's fine too. But the big thing is when we're stepping, making sure we're secure enough with that leg and we're not taking all of our weight and all of our momentum that way. All right, we're directing it this way. Does that make sense? Anybody have any questions? What I don't want to see with this is once we get to this position right here, I don't want to see this. 
See how the med ball is way down? I'm way out on my front side. I'm too far, I'm too far gone. I have no juice left here. For me to finish this, now I have to throw my body over my front knee and I'm not gonna be able to control that every single time. If I land here, I can control my next movement a lot easier than I can control this move. I'm gonna throw a puncher, I'm gonna throw a punch like this. I'm gonna get that elbow up. Boom, I'm gonna drive down and throw. All the muscles in the forearm that are going to be activated as we're trying to release that baseball. Now when we were doing the med ball, if we felt like it was a little awkward, there's a good chance that it was because we were here and then we landed way down here. So it's a good reference point doing that drill to kind of understand like, oh wow, even though I don't feel like I'm getting out on my front foot, I probably am getting out on my front foot a little bit too early. All right, so um, some things that we saw with the med ball is we were trying to throw the med ball. Guys, it's a push, right? So when I land, right, my elbow is still shoulder height, if not even a little above my shoulder. And Coach Andrew explained it a good way. Almost like you're trying to punch somebody that's two feet shorter than you. You have to be going this way opposed to, I saw some of us doing this where the elbow drops, and I saw some of us actually trying to throw the med ball. All right, so this is more a drill where we're just focusing on where is our weight, at what times is our weight supposed to transfer, um, not so much actually making a throw with the med ball. You got anything? Yeah, good work, guys. Good effort. Good work. You guys are with him again. Uh, go put the weights back, and then you guys are in the weight room. We're going to go 10 yards down, right? Two at a time. Let the guy in front of you go about two reps, and then the next guy will hop in, right? So we're going lateral lunge with the reach. Drive up to the top. Same side again. Working all the way down with them, right? And then once you get to there, we'll line up there. We'll come back and we're going to do this two times. Two times. Right, first guy's up. There you go. I want you to try and pull yourself up to the top. That was a little tough. Good. 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 We're marching, we're marching, we're gonna pop, pop, driving off the ball of our foot, and go. Once they get to the five yard mark, second guys go. Straight up on our toes, triple extension, down into triple flexion. Then we got three by five with our RDL slam. So we come up, our knees up, down through the ground, shoot that leg back. We got three by five on each leg. Then we got rainbow slam or rotational slam starting on the hip up over the top, outside the foot, and then going the other way with it, right? Three by five of all of those.
very similar. The reason we do zombie squats is to basically learn how to front squat, keeping our arms up when we're squatting. Now, all we're gonna do today is you're gonna hold the bar on your shoulders, right? You're not holding it with your forearms. That's why you get your elbows up and it rests across your shoulders right here. And then we're gonna squat. So, put the edge of the serrated part of the bar right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot my elbows down and through. And I'm, I'm not lifting it with my hands. I am popping it up and off with my shoulders. Now from here, I'm gonna keep my eyes up, keep my elbows up. And all we're gonna do, we're gonna squat down to the bottom and then back up to the top, right there, guys. When you're done, you're gonna walk it back in. Don't just flip it in like I did. So, right, look at your sheets, check your weights, ask me questions if you have questions on the weights. I think most of you guys have seven reps. I think it's four sets of seven reps here. Let's get this going. Elbows up, elbows up, elbows up. Good. 